The brand is important because uh, it allows the consumer to recognize a good product. Uh, once the product uh, has a name, the consumer can back in the, in the shop and buy again if the product is good. What is very important uh, is to develop uh, a good quality product together with the brand. But uh, it must not to be a niche product, uh, but a mass market product, otherwise the business uh, became too small. Our uh, business card to the consumers. Uh, we pay attention to this uh, aspect because uh, we used to analyze first the target consumers we want to reach with uh, our products and then according to their group of consumers we want to reach, we de develop the best uh, brand name uh, for the product. Uh, this analysis uh, works for domestic and international markets. And basically, this is the first approach. Then other indicators help us to evaluate better the position of the brand, uh, like competitors, uh, trends, and many other information to support the final decision. Uh, when we talk about market, we talk mainly about Italy and Europe. Our company group is well known in Italy and Europe. So we have several kinds of packaging according to the product and the market uh, we want to reach. Uh, now most of the attention is on eco-compatible uh, packaging because we want to reduce the amount of uh, garbage uh, related to our products. So all the eco-compatible uh, packaging are the packaging we are going to develop for the future. Plastic-free is one trend, but there are also other trends and they work together with the sustainability concept. So our supply chain might be in the future the most sustainable and the most eco-friendly possible and it can be a value to communicate to the consumers. It's very important because it's, we used to say it's how you dress. You, you try to put the right color, the, the right combination, uh, because uh, it's a matter of how you look. People buy with the eyes. This is something that we used to say. So you must have a nice product, a good quality product, and a nice packaging around. This is quite simple to say, not very simple to realize, but the goal is to put all these aspects together, brand name, packaging, and quality. And this is the best combination to reach the consumer and to be successful. Yes, the main is uh, to reduce the impact in the environment of the packaging. This is the main issue now that uh, works for all the steps of the supply chain. So our, uh, in our organization, we start from the growing area with our growers. In that area, we reduced uh, uh, the use of chemicals then the other steps are related to logistic and packaging. All these areas are uh, uh, managed with the goal to reduce the garbage and the waste. Uh, if I must say for the future, for the future, the packaging must be eco-friendly, recyclable, and uh, uh, with the less impact possible for the environment. All these three works together and with a good brand name. This is the on top of everything because people need to recognize you and to price you buying. In our sector, uh, brand is not really well developed. You consider that uh, less than 10% of the products are with brand. It means that uh, roughly 90% are unbranded. Uh, now this percentage is reducing, I mean worldwide because then you have different kind of brand, producer brand, private label, and so on. In our company group, we are trying to develop our own brands. We have several lines with brands like pearls, kiwis, and other products. And for the future, we see this uh, uh, development very interesting and important for our business. This is not only in Europe, but worldwide, I should say. We deal also with the Asian retailers, and in that case, brand is a value because uh, most of the food they import is 
from uh, developed countries. And in that case, the brand helps them to remark in the shelf that this food comes from a good supply chain. It can be European, American, and so on. And so in that case, we are in a very good situation because the brand is really a value, more than the brand itself, because uh, the brand allows them to mark the origin also of the product. And so this is a very positive trend that you are trying to develop for the future. Several products we are uh, well known by the consumer, mainly in the domestic market, because uh, to build up a brand, exact, a, a real brand, it costs. You know, it, Italy, we are Italian, Italy is a country of 60 million inhabitants. Uh, when we talk about brand, it means TV channels mainly, with uh, spot to promote the brand and the products. In that case, we have uh, one brand that is recognized by 40% of the Italian consumers. And this is the most successful. But uh, to have these uh, results, you have to invest a lot of money in branding. So you need the large volumes of products available, the big market and financial resources to put on this uh, combination. Uh, domestic level, yes, we have one successful brand. Hopefully for the future to develop at least in the European scale. This is our goal for the future. It's never too much to educate the consumer to have a good diet. They will get the results of a good diet when they get aged. When you are young, you are fit, everything is okay. But when you start aging, if you have a proper diet, it helps you to stay in a better health situation. So from our side, it's very important to introduce fresh vegetables in the diet. We have several campaigns working in this sense, yeah.